There's one statement I really love from Windows users when they go, I've been using Windows for years and never had a single virus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, no, what they mean is, they've been using Windows for years and their antivirus checker has never reported that they've been infected with a virus. So for this video, I thought I'd talk a bit more about that. Now here's a useful site, virustotal.com. You give it a file to analyse, and it tells you which, if any, virus checkers will pick up and say that there's a virus in the file. So take this one here at random. Detection ratio, 11 of 44. Yeah. Shows that not all antivirus checkers created are equal. So, if this was a virus, and you were running... Hmm, what could we go for that's actually a half-decent antivirus checker? Semantic! Oh yes, love semantic. Waste more resources than if you actually got a virus infection. Yeah, so if you're running semantic, eh, fail! You've got a virus and it's not informed you. Another file at random? Hmm, 17 of 43. Wow, isn't that good? Is semantic failed again? Oh yes, it has! Isn't that good? Yes. Now, of course, you could say, oh, I don't go and download dodgy files, and I don't go onto dodgy websites. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But did you know the virus, did you know the website you were going on was actually safe or not? Now, here's another of my favourite toys, urlquery.net. Gives you all these sites and tells you what alerts that have been tripped on it. And then these are... Uh, they call it snort alerts, and that's a program, it's an intrusion detection system. It's a bit different to antivirus checker which runs on the computer. This is monitoring the network data that's coming into your computer. Sounds a bit technical there. Anyway, I just thought, pick a site at random here. Waitfornothing.com Sounds alright that site, doesn't it? You've got a little picture of it here. That's well, just a blog. What could possibly be wrong with that? So you read down the screen. Intrusion detection systems. Alert. Current events. Possible. Can't pronounce that one. Glazanoff Java exploit request. File magic zip archive data. Exploit kit delivering Java archive to client. <laughs> you get the idea here. We've got this one here. File identifier portable executable binary file magic detected. Now, of course, default thing in Windows. Every user runs with administrative rights. Yes, why would you change it? No, have the convenience. I want to run as an admin. So that file just gets executed with admin rights and has therefore infected your system. Good, isn't it? Now, I don't want to scare people too much. Look, just because it says there's an alert here, it says there's all this and that happening, doesn't mean your computer's actually going to get infected. Because a lot of it comes down to patching what applications you have. If your patching's up to date, no, there's not actually much chance there. If your antivirus checker does actually detect these files, again, it's not going to re really get through. But I just want to make the point that you can get infected and not know a single thing about it. I've had to repair quite a few computers that they have been infected. Antivirus checker doesn't tell us. And I always remember this, right? I was using Windows all the way from Windows 3.1 right up until 2009, but I stayed with XP right till 2009. Yep, I got infected with viruses numerous times, not afraid to admit it. And the first one, anyone remember how XP, before Service Pack 1, used to come with a firewall disabled? Yep, I had just installed Windows XP on an old machine that had Windows 98 on. In the days of dial-up, went on dial-up, went to my internet service provider's website, Sophos flashes up, virus detected. Didn't even do anything. First time using it, and I got infected. <laughs> Gotta love it. And I've seen virus infections in Windows 7. You know, no version of Windows there is invulnerable. And I'm not going to say Linux is totally invulnerable, because I admit, I got a virus infection on Linux as well. Similar to those website things. I went to this website, it had been infected, there was a malicious script on there, got redirected. Adobe Flash Player back then was vulnerable, and I got infected on a Linux machine. 
So yeah, even Linux happens, but there's less of a risk. So yeah, food for thought there. Thanks for watching, see you later.